Hey guys, this is Azura Nell. Uh, this video is going to be a basic tutorial over the very basics of this game, and a little bit how to set it up before you start getting into a run, and the basic mechanics and glitches uh, that you will find. Um, I think the one thing I won't cover is how to get out of balance with the Mojek. Uh, that'll be done later on in the regular series of tutorials. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the first things to get into here. Uh, we're going to go to load game and it's going to load a game. The first thing to know is to turn off the music. I already have it turned off. Uh, but to turn it on and off, you hold control and you press M. And see right now I turned it on. It's not going to play until I switch maps or areas. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it off. The reason we turn the music off is uh, it saves time. Uh, whenever you switch areas that needs to load a new sound file, or whenever a new sound file needs to be loaded, uh, the game pauses for like a couple seconds or so. And that happens a lot uh, throughout the game. So you end up saving like, I don't know how much time, but it's a good amount of time. Maybe two, maybe even three minutes, I have no idea. Regardless, um, that's what we do there. You can also turn off sound effects with Control S, but there's no seemingly reason to do that uh, that I've seen. The other important one to know is uh, Control Y brings up this control thing right here, and it lets you uh, change your controls. I play with the keyboard. Uh, if you press F8, I believe, on the title screen. You can ch you can play with like a some kind of input, like a different controller or something like that. But I play with the keyboard. Um, so basically, to change it, you just click this first one. And see right now it's on shift and control. Uh, shift normally, button 1 is jump, and button 2 is uh, attack. So what I do is I click this one, I change mine to Z for jump, and uh, X for attack. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want to, or you can leave it the same, doesn't matter. Uh, just do it feels comfortable to you. You can even change these up here if you want. Uh, the rest of these don't really matter. Uh, I change them anyway. Uh, the only one that does matter is this one right here in the second X. Uh, enter is what you will use to change your sub weapon. Uh, you can change that one if you want to. I leave mine at enter because that's what I'm used to. Um, C or A or S or anything like that around that's really easy to press. Uh, and that you hopefully won't press on accident when you don't need to is also a good choice. Uh, so just press OK. Uh, let's see. One other thing you do before uh, doing a run, and I'm not going to show this in the video, I'm just going to describe it, is once you have the game running, uh, go ahead and bring up Task Manager by holding Control and Shift and pressing Escape on your keyboard, uh, and then go into the Processes tab and find the eternal daughter uh, process. Right click it and set the affinity to only use one CPU core. And we do this to prevent some kind of sound bug that happens uh, when more than one processor is being used or core. Um, and that um, basically when more than one is used they'll for whatever reason fight over resources of the game or something and this makes the game progress only one frame at a time when you put in a new input um, and it happens randomly and it probably happened anywhere from one to four times during a run if you uh, don't do the uh, task manager affinity thing that I just described and you will most likely have to reset the entire game uh, and start over from either the beginning or your last save to get rid of that uh, bug if it happens. And it should never happen if you do the task manager thing. Anyway, moving on, uh, you can see down at the bottom right I have an input uh, display and that's just to help me show the inputs here. Um, I'm going to include in this the description of this video uh, 
a link to the knowledge base on the SDA websites, Speed Demos Archives. Uh, it's like a Wikipedia page that describes everything that I'm about to show you. I hope it should all be on there. Uh, so the first one is the basic backdash and basically movement in this game you can move a lot faster than you normally intended to. This is as fast as you can normally run um, without doing a movement glitch. And you'll see whenever you do a slide uh, you start off moving at a certain speed and then as you get further into the animation it slows down. Uh, so if you interrupt this animation you'll keep that momentum and so to interrupt the inter animation you simply need to leave the ground uh, so either jumping or falling off a ledge or something like that um, so I'm gonna show you the very first one you start off of the game with only one you can do at the very very beginning um, which is just the back dash so we just hold up and we'll do a back dash and as soon as you start to back dash we'll let go of up and then hold the direction that we want to go, which is the way we are back dashing, so behind us, and then uh, jump again. So it's something like this. I'm trying to do it slow right now just to show you, but. So, and you'll see that I'm moving faster. And these take a bit of uh, practice to do. And the faster you do these, the more speed you'll have. Um, you see, I'm not moving as fast as to the left now as I was to the right. Just because I'm doing it slower on purpose. So that's the first movement tech. Uh, the next is the second one you get, which you have access to uh, once you start fighting the very first boss, which is like. 10 seconds if even into the run and that's when you get the attack um, so what we do is we start charging a shot it doesn't have to be fully charged you start charging it and you hold up and you do a back dash you'll see the animation is a little bit different than if I were to just uh, it's, it's shorter when I'm doing a charge shot see um, so what we do is we'll hold up and charge and I'll do a dash and then I will just hold the direction I want to go and you'll see that I go quickly and this is for the first like 10 11 minutes uh, is primarily the uh, movement tech that we will use because it's the fastest and most reliable uh, there are some instances where you will use the back dash uh, cause, because it's slower and it's easier to control in general uh, in most cases we will try to use charge back dash like this um, because it's faster and it helps us skip many things much more easily and get certain timings and so on and so forth so the next one uh, once you can do a forward slide which is just this it's basically the same concepts um, as the original uh, backdash movement tech. Uh, you just jump during the animation. And this one's a lot easier to accomplish because you don't have to. Uh, you can hold the direction you want to go the entire time, and it's much easier to get better speed with this. So it's just like this. And you'll notice that I'm moving a lot faster than I was with the back dash, usually. And you can chain it, and usually you won't get more speed by doing that. But if you weren't moving at the maximum speed, you should. So the next one is uh, using the forward slide with the charge, uh, kind of like the charge back dash. And this is basically the fastest way to move. And you can spam it and you will go up to a cap of speed and I think it's about 3 or 3.5 times as fast as normal uh, velocity is in the game so next uh, 
I'm going to show you rapid fire. Um, and to do this, basically just charge a shot fully, let it go, and then uh, as quickly as possible, uh, press jump and uh, attack at the same time. And as long as you don't press them out of sync with each other, uh, you will be able to chain charge shots since rather than having to keep charging a shot. And I'll show you what that looks like. Well, I messed up. And you'll see I messed up a couple times. It's really easy to mess up because you need to press them at exactly the same time. Um, one thing I will mention. It kind of depends on your keyboard for this for doing that. I would highly recommend using a mechanical keyboard um, on laptops. It doesn't seem to work very well. And also, I've encountered an issue when Mumble is open. Uh, the uh, voice uh, thing kind of like Skype, but for whatever. Anyway. Um, when that's open, for some reason, at least on my computer, I cannot chain these together. I don't know why. So, if that's happening to you, make sure you don't have Mumble open. Uh, I haven't found any other programs that it does it with. Let's see, what else is there? I guess the other thing that I need to show is uh, flying while attacking. So. This is the end form of the familiar, this guy flying around with me. And once you have this, which is pretty late into the into the run, uh, whenever you're in the air, if you press jump twice, you will fly. He'll pick you up. Or we, we hope he does. Sometimes he doesn't cooperate very well. So that's what I just did there. So you'll see on the upper right, I have a, a fly meter. When that runs out, I will just fall to the ground. And there it goes. And once you hit the ground, uh, you land on anything that doesn't damage you, you can uh, fly again. Oh, something else I should mention, just a little help. Um, if you haven't double jumped after he picks you up, when you let go, you can double jump again. You, can, you have your second jump. Um, but if you do double jump before, when you let go, see, I can't do it again until I hit the ground. So, flying while attacking. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just press as quickly as possible without holding anything down. Uh, jump, then attack, then up. And you'll see what it looks like. See, I'll attack in the air and he'll pick me up. And this makes several of the bosses much easier to fight. Um, especially the last boss. It was very, very difficult and slow without doing this trick. And... There, I think there's only one other boss, it's the garbage boss that we use this against, and that greatly speeds up that fight also. Uh, yeah, that's everything I can think of uh, to cover in this video. I um, hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.